everyone, and welcome to this very, very exciting call. I am today joined uh, by a, a very, very special person. He's the CEO, it's Felix from Nibiru, uh, who is um, also working with Planet IX, as Nibiru is the company behind Planet IX. Felix has a renowned track record within the crypto and marketing space. He's been the founder, co-founder uh, of, of multiple uh, startup successes. I can say several of those companies have turned out to be you know, global leading companies in their space. We're so excited to, uh, to have you join us here, Felix, today to talk about Planet IX. And I, I must say that, that what I know about Planet IX from you already from our short conversation before this call has made me so excited to see what this awesome future holds for us. So uh, Felix, uh, why don't you go ahead and explain us what, you know, who you are and, and what Planet IX really is. Hello, yes. Uh, thanks for having me. Yes, uh, I am uh, Felix and the COO of uh, Nibiru, which is uh, the company developing the game of Planet IX. And, and uh, we are set out uh, to get the Planet IX to become a revolutionary product uh, and a turning point, I think, for, for, for mainstream adoption of, of blockchain gaming. Uh, and and uh, this is uh, done possibly without, you know, uh, with, with Crowd1 Network, which is our catalyst into, into launching this game. So we are super excited to, to get, uh, you know, uh, onboarding players uh, the coming week and, uh, and uh, start seeing uh, how, how, how people interact with it. Uh, awesome. so, so let me take you through a, a broad uh, presentation of, of the game mechanics here today and uh, uh, you know, trying to spread knowledge on, on how, how the, 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 the game will work. Uh, and, and if you have any questions, uh, just uh, let me know. Uh, so so uh, yes, let's start with uh, some, some backgrounds on, uh, uh, let's start with some backgrounds on, well, on on the NFT space, it's uh, it's uh, you know uh, so NFT and non fungible tokens uh, has has been around for a couple of years uh, right now, and as some of these examples I show here are are kind of the benchmarks of of, of the huge success. Uh, and and for a couple of years ago, you know, CryptoKitties started uh, and Ethermons uh, started to do uh, some kind of a breeding game where you take you know set objects and you can you can turn them into to to, to new variations, uh, unique uh, variations of, of, of cats and so forth. And we have been starting to see, uh, you know, more games come into play. The huge successes this year of Axie, uh, Gods on Chain and Alien Worlds are, are taking place. And people are starting to realize that if, if you play and if you put your heart into it, you can actually get uh, rewarded for it you can get you get paid out in in if it's either you know a native token or or something else it's 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 fascinating to see and and we're now kind of entering a new new uh new sp space where we see early majority of, of the total market share will onboard uh, and and uh, i mean just uh, looking at uh you know, Planet IX launching with with uh, uh, through Crowd One's network, we will see uh, several hundred thousand new players this year only, uh, and 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 it will not take you know that much more of a time. Maybe next year we will see uh, you know the, the 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 big players, the big gaming studios entering the game. Uh, you know, uh, Sega or or Nintendo uh, companies like this will also introduce to, to uh, with, with two NFT uh, NFTs, so so we'll see. There's a lot of thing happening, and I see the the market, uh, you know, exchange volume have risen with over ten thousand percent the last year, and 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 there's been a lot of of uh, you know media attention around this kind of new phenomenon, uh, and uh, I, I I'm very very excited to to be be in this space to be honest. Sorry, you said how many percent did it grow with? Over ten thousand percent. It's 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 been ridiculous, actually. It's just uh, you sh you should see the, the the curve. It's just <laughs> it's pointed straight up. Uh, so 2020, 2021 has been uh, amazing for 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 this kind of uh, 
you know, marketplaces both, but also creators. There's been a lot of creators uh, uh, from from going from you know having zero sales to to having sales in 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 the hundreds of thousands of dollars. So so it's 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 very cool to to it's a way to give back power to the creators in that sense. And this is not only NFT gaming. This is like uh, creators of NFTs. That can be art. That can be video. That can be something else. But but this infrastructure that NFTs enables has you know uh, we haven't seen uh, the end of of, of that uh, possibilities yet. Sounds like we're in the right place at the right time. Yeah. So uh, let's go into uh, Planet IX. I think. Uh, I think the easiest uh, the com comparison is, is to make it to, to a classical board game called Monopoly. There's a lot of uh, similar utilities in the game. So, so Planet, in Planet IX, the, 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 main, the main object is your picks. That's short for Planet IX, and that's a land partial, which, uh, which is situated on an on alternative world, uh, which is a copy of our, uh, of our own world. And you can you can uh, get those uh, uh, picks through through drops. So the drops is basically you buying into a bundle of picks that is uh, randomly generated. So just like you you play the dice in Monopoly to get to a to a uh, to, a, to a, st a specific street, you will buy into a pack drops to get a, a random generated uh, picks parcel. And these. Uh, uh, your goal, just like the goal in Monopoly, is to obtain several uh, streets and, and then start to develop them. Your goal in Planet IX is to uh, get uh, uh, picks parcels clusters together as 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 many as possible, uh, and in order for you to develop them as well. So each week. Uh, from the start of the 13th of July, uh, or actually the drop is the, the first drop is the week after, but we'll be launching the game the 13th of July. Each week we will have a, a new drop zone. And a drop zone is a geographical limit area in, in the world where we have all the, the, the picks available. So during that sale, you cannot get picks outside that kind of area. Uh, so, so for the coming eight weeks, we will have eight kind of uh, drop zones ready for for the launch. And the post beta, when we we you know post beta, we will open up for more narrow down, more specific pack drops that could be uh, uh, drop zones that are you know only legendary tiers, so only specific kind of continents in the world and so forth. But in the beginning, we just opening up to have a broad uh, you know distribution of, of the picks. So one picks unit can be located into nine different classifications. And these are the classifications that we also see in the world. And this, these classifications are then also bundled into different tiers. There's tiers from legendary to rare, to uncommon, to common, to outliers. And what you get uh, when, you, when, you, when you purchase uh, uh, you know, a pack, you will get a mixed pack, you will get pixels from all of these kind of tiers. So they will be spread it out. And so you can say that, you know, uh, one euro worth of, of, of uh, uh, P euro uh, is going to get you 10 picks of rare or 20 picks of uncommon tiers. And one euro in legendary is going to get you one picks because they, these are you know, the most rarest. There are more and more of the lower uh, tier uh, uh, picks that we are then bundled them together. So one pix is is basically uh, just just shown a ge ge uh, geological imagery of of, of how that uh, pix looks like, and 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 we we have a specific uh, you know uh, coordinates of, of where that is. So when when you open a pack and you get your pix units, uh, you will e easily you know you can locate it where it is on on uh, on the real world, and from that kind of view you can then you know. When we launch uh, the marketplace, we, you can go and try to sell those uh, in the marketplace to other other uh, you know players that wants to uh, you know build out their their kind of in inventory. Cool. So uh, on the map, you will see like, like this grid here uh, where you know your picks uh, units are located. They are located with with the green light 
and, and maybe you see uh, some other uh, red colored uh, pics, uh, you know, close to you, those are, you know, uh, other players uh, land. Uh, so this is how you can navigate in, 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 the, in the game. Uh, and our mere main core product experience uh, is not live during the, the beta launch. Uh, so so uh, this is our core experience and uh, talking about the, the marketplace. And uh, the marketplace is basically the, the, the stock aid, uh, exchange where you can trade uh, your way through, you know, get a, a cluster of picks closer to each other or sell them to other people who is looking to, uh, to play this game, uh, you know, um, on another level or, or just have, a, have another vision about what they want to do with their picks. Uh, and, and, and the challenges uh, that we will release will basically, you know, uh, make, make our users uh, experience the game from different kind of views and play styles. But in order to, for example, uh, get uh, get in on special drops. Uh, you will maybe have to complete a different kind of challenges. If that is only to own uh, different picks in different continents, uh, that that could be one one of those uh, challenges. Uh, yes. So there are, as you know, uh, there are there are two kinds of NFTs that's going to be represented and played around in, in Planet IX. The first one is the landmark NFT. The landmark NFT, you cannot trade your way through. This is, uh, you know, uh, this is only possible to obtain through different raffles and different drops, spe uh, spe special drops. The NFTs is basically uh, over 800 different uh, cultural sightings or, uh, you know, uh, landmarks in the world that we have already put in place. And, and you, we, you can be lucky to get one of these, and that will bring you uh, some, some cool features. First of all, you see this kind of green uh, you know, uh, circle around this NFT. This is Taj Mahal. Uh, that, that green circle represents the area of where you can get commissions from. Because in our marketplace, we have a transaction uh, costs of doing transactions. And if you if you get lucky to get get uh, you know one of the legendary NFTs, you will get at least you know fifty percent of the transactions fee of all the picks being exchanges in the marketplace within this kind of ratio will go directly to your uh, NFT wallet. So this is uh, how we you know uh, enable for for getting some rewards by owning NFTs. The second uh, sounds is, very interesting. Just just to one question regarding that, Felix, yeah, is it yeah. that? So I cannot, I cannot uh, earn them. But what I can is I can, I can basically be lucky to 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 receive one of these landmarks. Is that correct? Yeah. So so yeah, exactly. So the landmark NFTs is not, uh, you know, you cannot play to earn them. We, we will have two two different NFTs, and, and and the second one is more play to earn. But but the the landmark NFTs are are you know uh kinder eggs you know you you, you get yeah. a, a surprise and, and there will be you know there will be uh someone who has higher probability uh of course of, of getting these because you have to join specific drops but you cannot uh, obtain them the other way than than actually getting lucky so by joining the most uh, drops and by having the most picks the likelihood of me receiving one goes up yeah I, you, yeah you can say that exactly very good uh, so, so the second part uh, of, 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 of the NFTs that, are, that is, uh, uh, that is an, a, available is, is uh, getting, getting uh, developing your PIX parcels. So from all the, the just, to, uh, just to give you a brief of, of how the economics works here. So from all the, the sales that we are you know, generating from the PIX packs, we set out 20% to invest in real world assets. That could be uh, you know, commodities, uh, renewable companies, uh, tech innovation uh, companies that, that doing green impact, uh, that, that, that does, uh, you know, does better for the world. All of these are handled by asset managers and they have you know, a, a specific uh, aim for generating returns, good returns and yields on them. And all those kind of uh, you know, profits being generated by these kind of in, uh, investments are then directly uh, used 
to paying out uh, the NFT holders of these kind of NFTs that you can develop. So, so the dividends are then transferred uh, you know, on a quarterly basis. So you will actually, if you are one of those NFT holders, you will have the 100% uh, you know, uh, profits that's been generating in that, that, that quarter. And, and, and since we, you know, have a, we have a bright future of, of, of onboarding several hundred thousand players and selling out uh, in a lot of pick packets, this amount of money that we are investing in this kind of green impact uh, funds will, will be quite large. And uh, so, so uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's a good chance of being, uh, being rewarded greatly if, if, if you are one of the first to, to develop these kind of NFTs. And, and I mean, there, there are 1.5 trillion uh, available pick parcels in the world, but there will be uh, only a couple of hundred thousand NFTs uh, when we are sold out uh, available or, or in this game. So what, why, why, let's start with blockchain then. Uh, I mean, one, one of our company's mission is to bring blockchain technology and, and banking solutions to everyone. And we have this possibility through through the Crowd1 uh, uh, launching strategy, and we see that there's a huge uh, you know audience size that that can be uh, taken both from the the existing NFT space, but also from from the Crowd1 uh, uh, space. And I, we like the fact that that the crypto bring deep fandom, it brings communities together uh, to 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 to. to exchange ideas to play around and to to back up uh, you know uh, how the game evolved and we see you know we see uh, our community being very very committed uh, already now uh, in our discord with uh, with uh, improving the game and 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 helping out uh, uh, answering questions uh, to to other uh, to, to other users and also i mean blockchain improves the experience of the game it's it's all about uh, you know uh, transparency and and it's a fair game approach for everybody, uh, especially you know with Planet IX. We we don't see any red carpet treatment. Uh, you I mean you cannot buy yourself into uh, you know a, 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 the, everybody has the fair chance here. Uh, so so there's uh, we, we're super excited to bring uh, kind of this kind of experience to to Crowd One. Uh, the network yeah, and uh, uh, think, think we will uh, uh, ha have an interesting uh, uh, year, uh, definitely. Uh, so, and, and, the, and the core product experiences and services that we will provide uh, through the game will be, uh, you know, NFTs. And the NFTs are under true ownership, which means that basically when, when, when you develop the picks or when we're releasing the landmarks, uh, it's yours. We cannot take it back. We cannot uh, uh, take it from you. It's yours because it's it's on it's on verified on the blockchain, and you can do whatever you want with it. And we enable these kind of assets to be interacted on other platforms as well. You can go ahead and sell uh, these assets on on other block, uh, you know, other uh, forums. Uh, the 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 revenue that is generated will still go to that NFT holder. So. If you have a landmark and you see, okay, there's somebody who wants to buy this, uh, because to see the long-term, you know, uh, potential in having this uh, uh, this NFT, they, they probably give you a hand, heads up uh, uh, um, price for it. You can go ahead and sell it. You, the only thing you should know is that all the future revenue will only be directed to the NFT holders' uh, wallet. So it's not. Uh, don't sell too early. And, and um, as you might have understood now, there's a lot of uh, pixels available uh, in the world, and it will be quite tricky. Uh, if you don't have super, super deep pockets, it will be quite uh, tricky to, to, uh, to, 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 to um, develop an own NFT. So we are launching uh, later this year something called DAOs. And DAOs is, 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 uh, is the future in, in blockchain for sure. It's very cool concept of where where you can interact with other without trusting each other and own and co-own something. So this means that you you will probably you will be able to 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 uh, co-own an NFT and develop an uh, develop an NFT together with strangers you don't know, and, and because you will have to set in an amount of picks and everybody has to set in an amount of picks in order to to generate uh, uh, the NFT and the rewards that is generating for that NFT will be divided pro rata to the to the people uh, you know adding it to to to, to the DAO. 
So we have a we have a cool uh, you know line uh, product line ahead of us, uh, and it will be interesting to onboard you uh, you know uh, as the as the games unfolds. Uh, and I think I covered this in the earlier slides, but uh, the, the the NFT will 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 open up a lot of new worlds, uh, a lot of new commerces to use as as the infrastructure for it is already there. So um, why should Crawl One Network care? So it's it's uh, the, the Planet IX is an engaging uh, product. Uh, there's uh, a lot of uh, you know upside to to making a living out of it if you play it right. It's a new revenue stream and and it it bolstered the uh, digital presence. And on top of that, I would say that uh, our vision with the Planet IX is to is to build a better world of tomorrow. There are a lot of initiatives. There are a lot of investments that are uh, on its way uh, being you know, uh, catalyzed to, to build something really sustainable here for, for the real world as well. So not only the investments we are making in, in, in green impact uh, uh, funds and companies, we are also you know, doing a lot of donations and talking to really cool uh, you know, organizations that, that does really good for the world. Uh, so, you know, how, why, why do we win? Uh, I, th I would say that, uh, you know, the fair, fair, fair launch approach is probably the, the best way to d describe it. We're not, uh, we're not uh, doing any red carpet treatment for anybody. It's, it's going to be easy to, to get into the game. It's going to be easy to onboard the game without, you know, having a hassle of, uh, of, uh, uh, you know, you have you have to do certain things to be able to onboard. The only limitations we have in the beginning is that we we are launching the beta to the maximum of two hundred thousand people, and this is to secure that the, the platform and our app is is working as it should. Uh, hopefully, we can on, start you know onboarding a lot more people prior to that set date. And also, uh, we we are creating a collaborative environment where where users can can build and co-invest. Uh, with with other players into DAOs, but we're also opening up the, the dialogues with with the community to to help out. What kind of initiatives are we going to invest in? Uh, you know, throughout uh, throughout time, what good entrepreneurs are they having good uh, you know products and and services that does good for the planet? We are uh, it, it, we are in discussions already on how to figure this out together. And also, I mean, the transparency, we are all about transparency, all the NFTs, all the revenues, all the, uh, all the streams of, of the of payments will be available for everybody to see. We have, a, you know, the game book is laid out. Uh, uh, we, we're constantly adding, uh, you know, uh, um, uh, content and, and guides and videos to explain it in more in detail, but the, all the content about the game mechanics is already in our game book, and I, I really hope that everybody uh, lean in and, and take part of that. Um, and, and, and lastly, again, I think uh, uh, once players understand that this, this is a game, uh, but, but through playing this game, I also contribute to a, to a, to a better world. And, and um, every week and, and every drop we make, we will, you know, have uh, a lot of. Um, we will have a lot of talk shows. We will have a lot of, uh, you know, shows where we talk about what's what's uh, in for Planet IX. But we're also inviting, uh, you know, uh, partners and companies uh, and initiatives to 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 uh, uh, to collaborate with us. So it's uh, it's we have a cool thing going. So uh, right now we uh, we are, uh, you know. Uh, Two days uh, from from launching this game, and and we've been building uh, for a year almost, and um, we we have you know a lot of testing to do, and we are rolling out step by step. But I think uh, in not s s latest October we will release the marketplace. In terms of community, we, we have the game book in the Discord ready. We are we are uh, you know right now uh, staffing up on, on more languages and uh, and more community uh, moderators. Uh, and in, in, you know, maybe early next year, end of this year, we will start to introduce to you uh, the, the, the decentralized autonomous organizations and the tools, you know, for generating, for co-owning this kind of develop picks uh, together. 
and uh, uh, in, in uh, for NFTs, in the beginning we are releasing then uh, the, some uh, landmark NFTs, and we'll add up, you know, as the game proceeds. We, are, we will show all the 800, uh, around 800 NFTs that was available, but we'll only, you know, uh, release a couple of them. Uh, and so there will be more raffles, uh, you know, more raffles in the end of the year uh, or, or when we release the marketplace. And, and, and the picks control NFTs, yes, of course. They, they, it will take some time for, for people to, to start generating them if you're not super lucky, which I, I wish I bet somebody will be. But uh, there's some, uh, some technical aspect that, that we have to take into place. Uh, we also have to release our own uh, you know, native uh, cryptocurrency or native token for Planet IX uh, you know, uh, prior to that. So, so, but that's something we can discuss in, on a later call. Uh, but we have a lot of uh, cool features uh, on top of this. There's not, uh, you know, there's not space enough uh, in a roadmap. Uh, so there will be there will be a lot of surprises and, and releases uh, going on the coming year. And just the final uh, introduction to uh, how you will um, redeem, because I know a lot of uh, the viewers here has been buying into uh, you know uh, early packages and 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 being part of the uh, you know initial sales of the picks and and they they are still on C1 platform. So, so just to take you through the flow here, you, the users start in the in the uh, left corner and they, they purchase a voucher for a, for a pack, and they can then go when we're releasing uh, Final X, they can go to our own uh, you know uh, website and log in with a new account, uh, and when they have, uh, when they have uh, you know started a profile, they can then go to the wallet to redeem these kind of vouchers that we sold through through Crowd One. What will happen then is that we will uh, we will uh, we will generate uh, picks uh, euros for you to be able to then purchase in on those kind of packs drops that will come uh, the coming weeks. So yes, that's a short uh, uh, overview on how the the game work, and uh, I'm super excited to to get started, uh, you know, onboarding all of uh, the users uh, that, that's come to Crowd1. Wow, Felix. Before I try to do a summary of all the information, I couldn't help myself. I was sitting taking a lot of notes of, of, of what you said. And um, I, I have a few questions that we've been asked from, uh, from our audience to, uh, to sort of better understand somewhat the NFT market and somewhat of Planet IX. So if you just bear with me for a couple of minutes here, can you try to explain, you know, what the NFT market is? And, and you know, we, we heard about the percentages, but maybe also how important it is for the future, regardless of your part of crowd one or not. Yeah, I mean, I think uh, the NFT market has been <laughs> the growing immensely the, the coming years. And, and I think, one part that is that is uh, you know also uh, within our space is the, is the play to earn. I mean, there's definitely uh, importance of selling goods with true ownership or, or, and with the digital certifications as, as an NFT is. But I also think there's uh, you know why it's growing in popularity within gaming is because people love games. People love to play games. People love to sit and 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 give a lot of time into something they're passionate about. And once you start introducing some game mechanics while combining NFTs with, uh, you know, some, some incentives, uh, all of a sudden people and the gamers, they, they're not only not spending time on the game, they're spending time and making money. So I think it, that's the most powerful, you know, bridge we will see between blockchain and, and gaming is that they will combine, you know, their users who, who are spending most time in the game and rewarding them, rewarding them with, with uh, special, uh, you know, tokens or other incentives that is going to be tradable. Because NFT, it's, uh, it's used on, you know, open uh, blockchain infrastructure, which can be sold. So there's already something, there's already a marketplace there. So I think that's the most uh, important and, and uh, uh, cool you know, th thing about this space. Awesome. So how is Planet AIX, or rather, why is Planet IX you know, going to be powerful? How are, they gonna, are we going to win in this space? 
Yeah, so I think, uh, I mean, we are super, uh, super excited to launch with uh, the help of, of, of uh, Crowd1. That it's the biggest uh, network marketing company in the world. And, and uh, we, it, it's a catalyst for us to, to just help onboard all these players, all these users into, you know, bridging them over to NFT based gaming. And and uh, you know there's 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 other big NFT games uh, that up, out there, and, and they are you know tapping on 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 some of the uh, like the mechanics that we are. Uh, so, but, but this is this is something new. This is something new, and I think that you know it's a it's a trading game, and people in what we understood in the the from crowd one is already entrepreneurs already entrepreneurs that that understands mechanics of, of you know uh game theory and understands the mechanics of of, uh, of of time well spent and and wants to earn money so i think it's a it's a combination of you know our robust game and you know the the superpower of of, of crowd one's uh you know uh depth of network very cool so What's your best strategic tip for someone who is, you know, new to Planet IX? Yeah, uh, uh, I would say that, you know, like in all games, uh, it's, it's about uh, knowledge. It's about understanding. Uh, so in the beginning, it's super important that you in early participate in the community, read in the game book, uh, buy the pack drops, uh, because it's, it's, um, uh you know it's just like buying your first bitcoin you, you don't really know until you actually you know buy it then you understand oh fuck this is something i it's valuable and i can trade it and oh what, I, here i can save money here and you start to realize the opportunities that, that allies in the beginning is 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 more or less like yeah i don't really know but when you when you when you're inside when you're one foot in a new room opens up so i would say in short you know uh, uh, get ready to participate get ready to don't understand ask in the community there's a lot of information uh out there already there's already community members uh stepping up and helping and with onboarding so so uh, and there a lot of new material a lot of your guides and, and content will be filled uh, the coming weeks uh so so we will try to hold your hand <laughs> uh, uh, as firmly as possible I think that's a very good explanation. Explanation. It makes sense that you sort of, you know, you you learn to swim in water. You learn to ride a bike on a bike, and 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 it's like you got to get in it to to understand it and appreciate it. So uh, thank you for that tip. Next question is, how is the value generated in Planet IX? Yeah. So exactly. So there's, so there's two kinds of value mechanism here. The the one is you know through the the market marketplace. There you can sell the picks that you have, you know, gotten generated through the pack drops directly to other users. That, that's one way to earn money. You sell picks to people who wants to aggregate them, who wants to own them in clusters. You maybe have a strategy like, oh, I want, I only want to uh, save my 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 picks close to each other in this region or in this country, and you may, you maybe you sell the rest. Uh, that that's one way you can earn, you know, uh, some picks, uh, picks uh, euros in the marketplace. The second one is is to to get, uh, you know, participate in the drop that has NFTs, the landmark NFTs, because the landmark NFTs they hold a ratio around them, where they where they take a cut from the transaction fee that is generated through the marketplace. So a big ratio around the most valuable NFTs will get fifty percent of the transaction fees directly to their wallet and the last part is the 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 the, the picks the developed picks the nfts where you when you when you have traded your way through uh, a control that we call them you can then exchange that control picks control into an nft and that nft that will get you know quarterly dividends uh, paid out to them by the the real world assets we already invested in through the in, uh, initial pick sales so there's a lot of mechanics here, but there's maybe three three options to 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 uh, to get some rewards in this game. Sounds very good. Now, many people wonder also, you know, what's going to happen, Felix, once all the picks are sold? <laughs> yeah, uh, good question. Uh, so uh, there's 
you know, there's a lot of picks. There's 1.5 trillion picks, give or take. Uh, we, we will we will be open about that number uh, in the game book. Uh, uh, but the last uh, the last technical round uh, this morning uh, uh, made two different numbers. So we have to we have to get that fixed. But around that and 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 and. Um, um, it will take, you know, it will take uh, at least a year for us to sell out. Uh, but but uh, there will be some in incentives for people who are joining early. They will make, we will make, uh, you know, the purchasing power of people joining in our early, uh, you know, greater. So uh, that that's one reward that we are giving back to the to the to the to the to the early contributors of this game. But it, it's. It's uh, it will take some time. We will also see. Uh, we will make sure that you know people. We will have a, sta a stats page on Planet X that you, you can see how many picks that have been sold of the total, how many NFTs that are being dropped and generating, etc. So you can follow it real time. Uh, but to, so so to sum up, uh, you know, from the picks will be only NFTs. So the whole Planet IX world will, will in the end only be NFTs because everybody wants to, to develop them and, and generate them. So, uh, but that will take some time. That will take some time. But right now we're on a really good path. We're on a good plan. But, but I guess the real question here is once the picks are sold, it's not the end of the game. It's more like the beginning of, of the full NFT process of everything. Yes, I mean, of course, we have a lot of cool features lined up in in, in the coming, uh, you know, in the coming years, and and uh, it, it, the games only start starting when, when the first NFTs are starting to pop up. We, I mean, the 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 the, the baseline, the me mechanics, uh, everything is set, but we are still we still have features that we haven't really released yet. So the game is is just starting to develop uh, when when the NFTs are starting to get placed out. Uh, but we're not going to change anything. It's not going to be, you know, if you join in late, uh, you missed, you know, a lot of a lot of the good stuff. We, it's not like that. It's it, it's uh, it's open for everybody to join when they want. Uh, we're not going to change the base rules, but we're going to add. We're going to add, you know, uh, functionalities for the NFTs when they start to 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 pop up. Very cool. So, um, how do you see the next? sort of like six to 12 months unfold for, for Planet IX and, and its users? Uh, yeah, I mean, right now we are just uh, trying not to uh, under, under deliver or underperform. We have a huge data uh, set of users coming in now through, through, through CrowdOne's uh, network and and uh, we just we just really want to make sure that they are taken care of they understand the game uh, and uh, bugs and 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 uh, other potential threats to the system is eliminated that's also why we we're, we are we are we're uh, you know taking it step by step and and make sure that the game is stable before we start doing transactions between users because then it's it's uh, you know uh, utility tokens involved and, and that, that could it's we have to be secure about things but i mean the 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 greater roadmap with with introducing the DAOs and and the, the possibility of, of our native token and so forth is 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 super <laughs> excited and i can't wait uh to 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 get there but in, in the first months it's all all about you know making a friendly uh Making a friendly uh, first impressions and, and and live up to to, to the expectations that, that that the users have and and get the users you know comfortable. What is what is Planet X? How do I play this game? How is it beneficial for me? How can I spend time, etc. So we we are really just doing it uh, not slow but steady. You know we want we want to have a smooth uh, onboarding because this is a new game. This is a new kind of concept for uh, for a lot of people who haven't haven't really touched outside uh, you know the the real blockchain gaming uh, space yet. So it's all about you know getting people uh, comfortable with 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 the concept and the mechanics. I like how you uh, how you place the, the, the user, the, the player in focus of all of this. You know, most yeah. companies would be attempted or attempted to to talk about themselves and their excitement, whereas your focus is really so customer driven. It's it's nice to see. Listen, I got two more questions for you, and then I'm gonna try. I'm gonna attempt to summarize 
all of the information that, that we got on this call. So one is, um, Felix, I hear a rumor that, that a super PAC is, is coming up uh, around, you know, the launch of, of the exchange of, um, of uh, you know, of the Planet IX exchange. Can you confirm that? Yeah, I can confirm. I mean, we, we have uh, some, uh, some great uh, contributors early on that believes in the vision of Planet IX and uh, there, there will be a, a super pack available uh, uh, for them. Uh, and and the benefits uh, it's it, they are gonna carry uh, you know that 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 uh, you know regular packs doesn't have a grant is uh, basically uh, you know getting into the best pack drops that we will have and in order to get into the, those pack drops you know on the normal uh, normal play uh, normal packs they will have to contribute they will have to make challenges they will have to complete challenges in order to get into those kind of drops. And those drops can just for an, for an example be, uh, you know, legendary NFT is included in that drop. It's a raffle that, that, that includes uh, one of those prestigious NFTs. Uh, so yes, I can confirm that those packs will be available. Very, very good. Now let's see if I can sort of summarize all of what we got here. And, and uh, I may be a little bit overly excited. Do correct me if I am, if I am way wrong here. So first of all, Planet IX is like Monopoly, just not only played on, you know, on a Saturday night with your family or your friends, but it's like an ongoing Monopoly. So I may win on a Tuesday and I may lose on a Wednesday. I may even have a bad spring and I can come back in the fall over winter. So, you know, it's an ongoing thing. It's something that I can learn, I can adapt, and it will always be sort of the ones who are the most, you know, hardworking in there, the ones that are the most attentive, the ones that seek out the communities that will really start gaining, uh, you know, um, the best results in the game. Yeah. Furthermore, um, I'm very impressed with how this game connects to the real world. So you got an on online world going on and how that ties in with a, you know, pay to play, fully transparent inside out approach. And, and what I mean with that is you have, you have the power to do something you love. You can play with friends that you care about. You can play with friends you don't even know you had yet. You can meet new people online. And, and, and while you're doing that, you're generating a profit that will actually be invested into creating a better world for all. And when I say for all, it's not for the people playing the games. Since these are environmental products, you know, people who will never ever hear about Planet IX will potentially still to some degree enjoy the benefits of it. It may be cleaner water, it may be a fresher nature, it may be all of these aspects. And in, in doing good, in doing in first in, in playing and having fun, and then doing good, creating a profit from that will then tie back in to me still doing what I love to do and that is play and, and, and trade with friends. I think that's an, that's a really, really awesome approach. And, and as I see this developing, you know, we, we talk about these NFTs and, and you and I talked before and say, these can go into the hundreds of thousands of, of euros and beyond. There's basically no limit to it. It's like asking what is the Mona Lisa cost? And there's only one Mona Lisa. So it costs whatever somebody wants to pay to get that. Now, the Mona Lisa has a bragging right. I don't believe the French guys are going to sell it. But, but, but the thing here is the Mona Lisa just generates its income maybe through people seeing it in the Louvre, paying to get in. But your NFT will, on a similar basis, create volume for you. Now, what I really love is how these DAO uh, uh, you know, enables me, even as a small time player, maybe new to the game, to hook up with some big guys. And, and the way it is normally in the world is that if you're a little fish, you are getting eaten by the big guys. But the DAO, as I understand it, makes it possible for, for people to come together and simply say, we're gonna, I'm gonna have a part in this NFT. I believe more in this NFT, so I'm gonna join up with these guys over here. And, and, and again, a, a place where I think you really thought this process through is by, by saying, we will have the real price for this. It's not gonna be some internal stuff since this is an NFT prepare for the open market, you will get a global evaluation on this. Yeah. So you will not just have, you know, like a community sense feel of what it is. Uh, you will really have a global aspect on it. Uh, when, I, when I saw your roadmap, 
uh, though I see a lot of stuff going on right now and launching and some of these things you're launching are very fundamental, meaning they will stay for a long time. But I also uh, uh, must say that you have understood to keep it exciting. You, you have a clear plan for the future, you know, in, in launching of functions and launching of opportunities and launching of packages. You keep it exciting and relevant for new people to come and join in. Uh, uh, and you keep it exciting for those people in already uh, uh, through the crowd one community. I mean, it's no joke. It's three, you know, 32 million people around the world joined up by now. We'll talk in a week and we add another million to that. So that secures a certain success in this. And it's like, it's like, you know, people attract people. And, 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 and that will go into the value of, of each pix that will tie into the NFT. So I see that as a, as a sort of a guarantee for success. I mean, they, they, I don't think there's anyone in this space that's ever had a start like Planet IX. I don't think there's anyone who, who really comes, comes close to the expansion. And it seems like the development of an NFT is like unlimited. Yeah. I also must touch on the, on the super packs. Uh, 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 the super pack seems extremely exciting to get into, and 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 why why are those packs exciting? They're exciting to people who want to come in. They're exciting to people who says, you know, I really want to have all the advantages of this game. But they're also exciting to me, it's like, even if I have a small package, because everyone joining is adding to the value for everyone. Uh, and uh, I believe that's the synergy. I believe that's the dynamic of, of Planet IX and Crowd One really coming together. Has, have I understood it somehow correct? No, I think your summary is, uh, is, uh, is spot on. Um, I mean, we're, we're super excited to, to get the possibility to, uh, uh, you know, uh, launch with, with the Crowd One's network. And I think uh, uh, the, the game itself, it, it's, it's uh, you know, we, we built this game for, 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 for uh, you know, for everybody, for outside Crowd One as well. So I think there will be no, no restraints in how big this, uh, this game can, can, can be. Uh, this is awesome, Felix. So we'll take your advice. You got to get in it to learn it. Yeah. And, and, and I believe also what you said is anything, you know, that's worth doing is worth waiting for. So as we wait with excitement, we got to focus on what we can do over the coming month. And, 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 and we are all really, really looking forward to the, the beta launch on, on, on the 13th. And we're really, really looking forward to the future launches. Thank you, Felix, for taking the time to, to share with all of us. Thank you. Thank you, Jens. Uh, pleasure being here. Okay. Thank you.